Hey folks, you know I totally love my DX6i. I really do. Another problem with me is the old eyes. I've left this radio on more times than you can imagine because I didn't see it was on. I'm spoiled with a lot of my other radios that have LEDs on there. So I dropped this transmitter and broke these two switches off. So because of that, I'm going to open it up and at the same time, I'm going to put an LED on here that turns on and I'm going to show you how to do it. So when the power's on, you got an LED. Let's open it up. You know what, Jeff, I've never opened up one of these. I'm going to be interested to see what's inside, huh? Yeah. Okay, here's the two switches I have to replace. I uh, have a couple of those, so I will replace these two switches, and I'm going to go into the power here and wire in an LED, and it looks like I have a place right there to put it. Okay, that switch can come off. It's a regular switch, doesn't matter what color wire goes where, single pull. Okay, fix that. Strip these wires. And then we have the switch over here. It's broke. Lesson number one. Don't drop your transmitter. What page is that on? That's on page six. <laughs> and I wrote that. Just another lesson. Strip these wires. Get the soldering iron out, tin them, put on a new switch. Okay, solder the wires on. Okay, the LED I'm going to put in. Uh, is a 3.5 volt LED with a 100 ohm resistor on it and first we have to find power in the transmitter. Okay, I put a negative uh, terminal on a negative battery here and what you want to do is look for the 6 volts using a meter like this or any meter and what I found is over here on this plug that red there's your 6.11 volts if you can see that over there on the uh, meter so right here, this red wire is where I'm going to connect the LED right here, which I'm going to also install right here. I've decided to uh, put the whole right in the middle of the X. And I bet you never ever thought you'd see this folks. But I'm going to drill a hole right into my DX6I spectrum. Very, very carefully. Now, I'm going to take one of these standard snap-in lenses and I'm going to put it in that hole just like that. Now, we're going to open this up. And I'm going to put the LED, there's the uh, receptacle. into that hole just like that and I'm going to hold that down with some amazing goop. And I'm going to solder that wire together.
Okay, put some tape around it. That takes care of the negative. Okay, right here, what I've done is just strip the wires uh, on the plus with this turns on. I'm going to go ahead and get the soldering iron going and we're going to take and connect the plus wire right here around that. First I'm going to just wrap it around here mechanically. Make sure none of the other wires are touching. solder this up. Okay, I always use 100 mile an hour, well I call it 100 mile an hour tape, but it's, uh, it's duct tape. And the reason being is because it, it stays. There we go. Make sure none of your wires touch. Looks good. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if that LED comes on. This is the first test. Oh, got to plug this wire in first. The red wire, I don't know if you can see that, Jeff. The red wire on this plug goes to the top. There we go. Now we've plugged in our power. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on, see if we get a red LED. And there we go. So let's bolt it back together. <laughs> Very nice. see that so uh, the draw on this is less than 20 milliamps an hour so it's very light and, uh, and it's not so bright it's gonna blind you or anything got a uh, blade MCX ready to take off here. Let's try it out. Power lights, huh? I need that.